iOS 7 has a high value placed on content over their past UI-heavy interface. Apple now have a new ideal of removing anything that competes with content. This is very different to the look we all got used to for years, which was extremely graphically rich, full of drop shadows, gradients and bezeled buttons. Now Apple ideally want this stripped out in favour of a simpler UI that lets the content breathe. They now want everyone to think about the motion graphics and transitions within an app, rather than overloading the app itself with over-designed elements. If you're brand new to designing for Apple and perhaps aren't familiar with the Apple platform either, a really great place to start is the Human Interface Guidelines, or HIG as they're sometimes referred to. It's quite a long read, but will explain the absolute basics of how Apple likes to layer their interface and why. They want you to understand their controls, views and expected behaviour of navigating around iOS 7. They want their platform to have a familiar feel across all apps. Whether they're part of the Apple suite or designed by many people, consistency is always the key and they would like you to adhere to that as much as possible. We're going to explore some of these as they come up, but for now we're going to head right into some of the starting points that will get us up and running quickly and provide us with some great starting points for our app design.